We've got another Kajari melon ready. This will be the third one. And these things are so delicious. I can't even. Mm, mm, mm. I would eat them all if I could. But unfortunately, our harvest is being cut short by the pickle worm. So, most of the fruit are now affected by the caterpillar going through and making it rot on the vine. Luckily, the last one we got was not rotted. We were able to just soak it in water till the worms came out and then cut it up and eat it right away. Y'all, it feels like fall out here. I am just coming out this morning to let the sheep out into the paddock and grab my cucumbers from the barn fridge that I already have ready cut up and I'm making some sweet pickles with those and then I'm gonna make some green tomato relish and we'll see what else the day brings me but I am still preserving food like crazy y'all so sorry for the delay in videos but it's been a happy busy season over here come on girls go eat go on they usually like it if I walk them out here into the grass they're such babies but as you can see it's been very very muddy we've had a lot of rain there you go go out and enjoy your grass go on oh they're looking back at me make sure I'm still here you're just babies you're such babies sheep are little babies they're cute though I sure like them that is one lazy pile of pigs and bucks. Oh my gosh, Bowser, you're getting so big. You're almost full grown. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be time for me to get an unrelated boar and sow so that we can breed Mama Peaches and Bowser. These goofy goats don't know that they're supposed to be coming into heat. My bucks are in rut and they are ready to breed for our fall breeding. And none of my does are in heat. We dried off the last one this week. And so now we have no milk. So I really want to hurry up and get somebody bred so that in five months we'll have some milk at least. What? 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 What do you have to say for yourself? Huh, Aura? You're just a talker. You just want some love. I can't believe how much cooler it is today. It's like 70 degrees out here and it's windy. Feels like fall. It's really nice. I have done the deed of stripping the last of the green tomatoes off of the plants. And now all I have to do is pull them. But I keep getting interrupted by rain. It's funny how you can spend all summer praying for rain and then it finally comes and it doesn't stop. <laughs> That's Georgia for you. But I'm going to be pulling all these tomato beds. I've got one bed I'm keeping over there with just five tomato plants in it that have a few fruit on them. But most of this is going to be pulled out for our fall vegetables. Oh, what a nice surprise. My surprise lilies, or hurricane lilies, have shown up just in time for hurricane season. Even the day lilies are blooming again because of this weird weather. And then I got a beautiful garden spider. I might have to warn the kids that he's using the slide, or she. <laughs> so I don't want Odin to crawl up there and get spooked. <laughs> the solidago or goldenrod as a common name is budding up and just getting ready to start blooming i will be collecting some of this for teas and tinctures shortly i also have all of this i need to figure out what to do with <laughs> sometimes uh okay i guess bowser is of age we need to put him in with the american guinea hog girls i think raining it's pouring all the ducks are perching you know it's gonna be a rainy day when the ducks are still perching not all the ducks though i'm really liking these pretty gray ducks that the white mama hatched out 
just out here in between rain showers getting some peppers for my piccalilli relish my cowboy candy and my mississippi caviar hey. oh wow you're gonna want to come over here and see this uh-oh what'd you find hey. a whole bunch of them of what a whole cluster of mushrooms hey. No way! Yeah, they're beautiful. They're purple and they're perfect. All right, I'll be right over. After I pick up these, poor things are full of holes from the pickle worm. I will cut around those holes and eat these anyway, though. Oh my goodness, I see them! They are so waterlogged and just brand new coming up. I hope the ducks don't get them. I might pick, well... They're so, they're so young still. I kind of want to let them grow a little bit. They're so waterlogged. They look purple. They usually have a pinkish glow to them. These are bluets. A very nice mushroom to find. A very nice. Very easy to learn how to identify. I recommend that you do your own research before consuming any wild mushrooms. Oh, look. There's more. So they grow typically in a fairy ring. So we should see, so we can see, we have some there and there. So it's always good to look in a complete circle. And we should see more coming up. Ryan said he just found this one a little while ago too. So there's another spot right here where they're pinning. We have to keep an eye on that before the ducks get them. It's so fun with the season changing. We're seeing new and different mushrooms that are starting to come up. So pretty soon here, the ringless honeys will be popping up everywhere. I gotta watch where I step. And all of the other fall mushrooms that we love so much.